Good morning, Fishers Tigers. I'm Joseph Faso, and this is FHS Weekly. But before we get started, I have Bertie Brower with me today from the German Exchange Program, here to actually do our announcements. So, Bertie, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Attention student drivers. Parking lot enforcement by administration is in full force. All student drivers must have purchased a $10 parking tag and must be parked only in approved student parking areas. For everyone's safety, please follow these guidelines. Violence will be resolute in disciplinary consequences. The next Champions Together meeting will be on November 11th at 2.35 in Cafe B. Wali is the biggest festival in Hinduism celebrated for five days. It began as a harvest festival, but is also used to celebrate Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth. In Bengal, which is in South India, Mother Kali and Lord Ganesha are also celebrated. The date of the festival varies, but is usually from the 13th day of the dark half of the lunar month, Ashvina, to the second day of the light half of the lunar month, Kartika. This year, it is starting on October 27th. The first day of the festival is the Day of Fortune. On this day, Lakshmi is celebrated. Money is purified and washed in milk. The second day is the Day of Knowledge. Lord Krishna and the traditional story of him saving 16,000 princesses and taking care of his people is celebrated on this day. Day three is Diwali, or the Day of Light. This is the last day of the Hindu year and is celebrated with fireworks and light displays. The fourth day is the Hindu New Year. There are offerings to Krishna and food is eaten in abundance. Mounds of food are set up to represent the god Varian Hill. The fifth and last day is the day of love between siblings. On this day, brothers usually give gifts to their sisters to show their protection and love of them. Diwali celebrates the triumph of good over evil and has great importance within Hinduism and Hindu culture. I'm Mallory Rowe, and today for featured announcements, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Come on, we're going to do a tour. All right, here's Joe said. He films like announcements and guidance and all of that stuff. And here we have Tiger Talk. Here's Adriana, Joe, and Sophia. They're filming a Halloween episode, which is pretty cool. You guys will get to see that soon. And now, we're going to go and visit our friend Maria. She's been working on a special project that she wants to show you guys. Hey, Marina. Hey, Mallory. What's up? What are you working on? Um, I'm working on a video about teachers reacting to TikToks. Fine. When do we get to see it? Actually, after this show, after the credits. Wow. Now, we're going to send it off to Tiger Talk. Hey there, Fishers Tigers. Welcome back to Tiger Talk, the segment of the show where we talk about topical topics at a table. My name's Joe Heemstra. I'm joined by Marina Watkins, Adriana Roseborough, and our very special guest this week is Mrs. Kix Miller. Yes! Who, for those of you who don't know, she is the teacher sponsor of Bring Change to Mind Club yes. here at Fishers. So would you like to talk about a little bit about what Bring Change to My Club is, since I don't know if everybody's super familiar with it? Yeah, the club's been in existence for a while. Originally, it was called Stigma Free Fishers. Okay. Um, last year, though, the club decided to partner with the national organization Bring Change to Mind. Mm -hmm. um, and so the club's purpose is to promote active, healthy conversation about mental health mm -hmm. um, and to kind of... Um, eliminate the stigma around mental illness. And so that's the mission and kind of vision mm -hmm. of the club. But it is, uh, we are the high school branch at Fishers of the national organization. Awesome. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's good. So what are some important events that happen in the club? We have monthly meetings. So mm -hmm. the second Tuesday of every month in H111, so in my classroom, mm -hmm. um, we meet and we usually do some kind of fun something, but then we also talk about work that we feel like would help benefit the Fisher's community, whether that's work on positivity mm -hmm. or work to end stigma related to mental health kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, though, we have a board that helps us plan those meetings. Sure. And then at the end of the semester, during finals week time, mm -hmm. um, we do some stress-free events. So last year in May, you guys might remember that during finals week, we had um, therapy dogs in the media oh, center. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I love those so things. that was part of Bring Change to Mind's kind of vision and work. Mm -hmm. At the end of the first semester last year, there were there were some stress-free events. There was like a yoga event, mm -hmm. some mindful breathing kinds of things just to help people 
manage their stress and anxiety throughout um, finals week. And then there's a very big event. May is National Mental, Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. Um, so in May, the student clubs from both Hamilton Southeastern and Fishers get together and plan an entirely student-led event at the Nickel Plate. It's usually the first concert at the Nickel Plate in May, and it is um, a mental health event. So there are vendors there, there are student bands that play, but it's really a community event to help, again, end the stigma and promote mental health and mental health awareness in the community. So lots of really, really good stuff that the club yeah. does. Yeah. It's really great. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. That's, wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're like, wait, all of these things. <laughs> Why am I not part of this club? That's what you're asking, right? I didn't yeah. realize how, um, I guess, integrated it was within the school, like for the therapy dogs. And yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we're not always as good as we should be about promoting that we were part of that, right? Yeah. So that part of this, talking to you guys, is to tell people like, hey, right. we did that. Hey, that's something that the club is responsible for because that's really important. So yeah. That's right. Awesome. Is there anything like that that's like coming up in the future maybe? Um, so again, we'll probably do something. We're going to work with Mr. Goodwin to plan some stress-free stress -free events at the end of first semester finals. Okay. Um, so the board is working right now to plan that. Oh, and we have something really cool happening. Um, yeah. Last year in April, we took mm -hmm. some members of the board to Notre Dame okay. to visit the McWell Center for Student Wellness on their campus. And they have these really cool spaces that are wellness spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and our students came back and they were so excited to create one of those spaces in our building. So we are in the works. It's all sort of TBD. Okay. Um, but we're taking a space in our school and converting it to more of a wellness space for students who need to calm down a little bit or just need a little bit of redirection or if you had a small meeting group mm -hmm. that you could meet in that space because it just feels different. Right. Um so it's all like two, it's all coming soon okay. kinds of stuff. Gotcha. Okay, good, gotcha. good, good, good. Yeah, I especially like the idea because like, I know if you're having kind of maybe like a mental breakdown at school or something's going on, like they tell you to go to guidance, but like, I don't feel, I don't know if everyone feels comfortable going to guidance. Yeah. So yeah. People try to go to the bathroom, but they don't encourage that. So yes. I feel like a space like that is exactly what the school would Yeah, need. and the goal of the space really, there'll be probably some kind of check-in, check-out procedure just mm -hmm. to see, like, how did it work for you? And there'll be um, kind of fidgets and manipulatives, but lots of strategies, but just in a very kind of natural environment that feels a little more comfortable, but not like the CCA, not quite like a teacher's classroom. Mm -hmm. So, again, we're, we're really excited about that work. So it's all kind of in the works right now. Yeah, definitely sounds very, very exciting. Yeah, it's good. It's definitely good. Some, some cool changes we can look forward to in the future. Yeah. Um, pertaining to mental health. Especially. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah, but that's, that's about all the time that we have uh, yes. this week. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, before we go... I think you brought some things in to leave on our set. Didn't I brought you? all of these things. So Ooh. these are things for the three of you especially. Okay. So Ooh. we have some. these really cool um, green Bring Change to Mind logo bands. Mm -hmm. The Bring Change to Mind national website is bringchangetomind.org. Mm -hmm. um, so I brought one of these for each Thank of you. you. Awesome. And Thank then you. the Peyton Rykoff Foundation for Youth Hope. Mm -hmm. um, partners with us on a lot of work as well. And so you may have seen some green stickers or last, um, in the past couple weeks, you may have seen the big blue You Matter stickers. Mm -hmm. So those are from the Peyton Rakoff Foundation. Sweet. Um, and the one says we all have mental health because I think that's the one thing we forget yeah. that we, um, I don't know, consider, consider mental health issues or challenges weakness. Mm -hmm. um, and really, it's not that at all. We all have mental health that we need to be mindful of. So I think that's really important. Yeah. And then the two last things, this is to stay on the set, so to bring Change to Mind logo decal, and then the meeting schedule. Our next meeting is um, November the 12th, and okay. it's in H111, right after school at 3 o'clock. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Do I need to sign something? Do you want me to sign something? Uh, sure. Do we have a shirt? No, I don't know. <laughs> no worries. We'll sign no. it later. It's fine. <laughs> we'll sign it later. That's okay. No worries. All right. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, of I course. really Thank appreciate you for it. Coming it was on. awesome. It was awesome. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Hopefully, you got something useful out of this, Tigers. We'll see you next week. Absolutely. Bye. Welcome back, Tigers. But before we move on, I have Miss Michelle Habibiana with me today to discuss our announcements. Seniors, you can get free help filling out your FAFSA free application for federal student aid by attending College Goals Sunday on November 3rd at 2 o'clock p.m. at five Indianapolis locations. Financial aid professionals will be ready with free help so that you and your family can file the FAFSA financial aid form online in one afternoon. For more information, including the locations, please visit collegegoalsunday.org. Interested in learning more about IUPUI School of Informatics and Computing? If so, plan on attending the high school open house on Friday, November 1st, 
From 4.30 to 8 p.m., meet faculty, speak with student ambassadors, learn about accelerated graduate programs, study abroad opportunities, and enjoy pizza for dinner. For more info on how to register, visit the link on our announcements page. Econ Club will have a short call-up meeting after school on Thursday, October 24th in room H220. Anyone interested in joining the club but unable to attend the meeting should see Mr. Turner in H220. There will be a boys-only rugby call-up meeting on Wednesday, October 23rd at 6.30 p.m. for new players and 7 o'clock p.m. for returning players in Cafe A. Hey Tigers, Sophia Solis and my awesome friend from Germany here. Would you like to introduce yourself to our viewers? Yeah, I'm Kalle from Germany, as you can see. Basketball cheerleading tryouts will be after fall break. Good luck! Check our social media for more information. The eSports Club is meeting at 1024 in room B111 from 3 to 4 p.m. Bring your signed permission slip, friends, and a gaming system. Well, that's all the information we have for you today, Tigers. We're going to get matching manicures. See you next week. I'm going to head out. Thanks so much to our German friends from Gymnasium am Sonnkamp Neukloster for helping us put together the show this week. See you next week, Tigers. Bye. Bye. Watching TikToks. Do you know what TikTok is? Yes. I do. I do. Would you like to explain what it is? Yeah, it's a website where teenagers waste their life making short videos of them doing dumb stuff. It's like Vine Reborn. I think it's just maybe silly videos that people make and then people watch them and react. At my age, that's about all I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, videos, uh, about what, 10 -ish seconds or so, usually have some funny thing with a, a song. So here we go. I think he's making this video because he didn't yeah, ask anybody up, to homecoming. I was real hungry in class today, so I pulled out my panini machine and started making a sandwich. I couldn't find Some of my students would probably have a panini so machine that they could pull out and eat sandwiches in class. Like, yeah. How did he get to college? It's a little, a little bit extra, but also very fun. I always like when guys listen to Taylor Swift. Oh my god. If I could mentor this kid and just set him aside, I would tell him that if he doesn't change, no one is ever going to fall in love with him. I don't really know what he's doing. <laughs> nice. I do that every now in class, sometimes, just to throw kids off. Oh, this is gross. I hate this. These people need hobbies. Go outside. I like that one. Bad for me. One hit. Bad for me. One kiss. Bad for me. But I give it so easily. And no thank you is how it should have gone. I should stay strong. But I'm. That was terrible. That was so dumb. These people need to go outside more. When I was a kid, we read books. Nice. I felt this one. That was too real. I didn't like that. Okay, intriguing. Neither. Neither are. <laughs> I hate your generation. Okay. To each their own, I suppose. Is there a time limit for a TikTok? Is it super short? <laughs> so, you're breaking up with me because my muscles are too big? Oh my big? god! 
I mean, I didn't know my muscles no, were that big. This, I, I relate this a lot. I relate a lot with this one. It's a common problem. It's, it happens more than people think. It's a common reason. Looks a little bit like Justin Bieber with the hood up, maybe. Alright, I didn't watch Frozen, but I feel like that was a joke. Bro, try this. Say hi to your knee. Do more males make TikToks than females is my question. Say hi to your knee. Hi, knee. Hi, bro. You said hi to your I don't know if I like this one as much as the others. That's what I'm gonna say there. Hey, are you kidding me right now? You're in eighth grade and you're acting like an elementary schooler. That's not gonna work in high school. You guys are all seniors and you're acting like middle <laughs> schoolers. I wonder what your college professors are gonna think. Okay, I like the mocking the teachers. That's my favorite so far. Kind of oh! true. Bro, where are you? I can't find you anywhere. This kid's a terrible actor. If this kid says bro one more time, I'm going to lose my patience. Miss Buick. That's not a Buick. I hate the suburbs. Oh my god. Stop it. You can't dance. Oh. Very funny. Okay. I did have to take a test during a tornado in the boys' bathroom in middle school. It was pretty bad. Natural disasters are not a joke. Cue scary music. Dad? Teachers during test do I? Okay, we get a lot of emails. Right handed. No. All right, y'all. It's time for the new iPhone to come out. Y'all got any ideas? What about removable storage? That way, when they run out of hey! removable storage, who, who think? Why would we want? We're not Samsung, and we don't want them to have extra storage. No. All right, I got one. We could bring back the headphone jack, so that way they don't have to buy the air. Hey! Who would we want them to charge? I hate that I can't charge my phone. Yep, exactly. That's yeah. A Some of the best ideas start as the stupid ones, maybe. I respect this one just because the song choice. Shout out to Kanye. I definitely have to watch more TikToks, is what that tells me after. Now I have some questions for you. Okay. Okay, do you have a TikTok? Uh, absolutely not. Because you guys would find me. Oh, no. I do not. That would is... Would like to get one after watching this? Under no circumstances. Maybe when I retire. I don't think I'm creative enough to have a TikTok. I think I'm good for right now. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go the same way as Vine. You know, it's like, oh, you got to have a Vine. You got to do Vines. And then now, what the heck is a Vine? No one knows. No one, no one does Vines anymore. Vine is dead and TikTok is alive. So there's the, the most obvious comparison. Um, TikTok's going to die soon, too. So. Ooh, I guess maybe I'm going to say Vine is the first. Um, and some Vines are very creative and clever. I guess I would say more with the music aspect is added. Or can you have music on Vines? I don't know. Do you think you'd ever make a TikTok? I think I'd wait it out a little bit longer and see, see, you know, kind of, kind of hit it at the, the, the top of the wave. Oh, that would require me using technology, and anybody that has me knows that's probably a no for me. Um, I'm asked this question every single day. And every single day, I say, maybe if I fake my death and become my alter ego, then, I'll, then maybe, but... <laughs> Was I bad for that? <laughs> okay, thank you. Awesome.